Agora com vocês, a mágica mais surpreendente. Vamos lá, tem que ter concentração para fazer ela. Eu aprendi ela com os deuses antigos da Grécia e de Azteca, então ela é bem complicada de se fazer. Mas prestem atenção. Concentração. Concentrar o chakra nos braços e levemente ir soltando a bola. Levemente ir soltando a bola. Uf, tem que concentrar mais o chakra, calma. Era só uma colher. Fala aí galera que eu tinha trazendo mais vídeo pra vocês. E dessa vez aqui trazendo o desafio Tente Não Chorar. Eu como um exemplo de homem, um exemplo de macho viril. Que cara, eu raramente choro por alguma coisa. Na verdade eu acho que eu nunca chorei na minha vida. Eu nunca chorei assistindo tipo Interestelar ou aí a inteligência artificial. Nunca, nunca fiz isso. Você acha que eu ia chorar? Eu choro pra caralho, velho. Bom, escolhi um vídeo aqui que provavelmente eu não vou chorar de jeito nenhum. Você acha que eu, que eu vou chorar? Por alguns fatores aí que eu já falei em vídeo. Que o nome do vídeo é Pai Grava Vídeo para a Filha Antes de Morrer. Então bora aqui assistir. Vamos ver se eu não choro, né? Eu não vou chorar. É, confia, confia no, na cal. Bom, vamos lá então. Deixa eu me ajeitar aqui. Eu mudei de ângulo a câmera pra ficar melhor pra mim assistir. Então, go. Alright. Tá legendado, um... tá? Porque o vídeo é em inglês. Lá, né? What word would you use to describe how you feel right now? One word? Yeah. Blessed. This is my little love, my little bug. Hi, my name is Nick Magnotti. I'm 27 years old. Uh, I am a, I have stage four appendix cancer. And uh, this is my seven month old daughter, Austin. Um, my wife and I had her together. I've been married to Elisa for five years now. I was first diagnosed with cancer. I was 24 years old. And, uh, I was scared. I was at first. Uh, I remember when I got the phone call. I was, uh, I'd just woken up. I think it was like eight in the morning. I was still recovering from the surgery when they removed the cancer. And Elise was in the kitchen and I was in the living room and I answered the phone and it's my surgeon. He tells me that I have cancer. And uh man. Talking about getting the wind knocked out of you, that was a that was a hard phone call. We uh Elise and I sat down on the couch and we really cried. And uh we decided that we were gonna hit it head on. We were gonna take this take this beast and You know, make our own. The chemo has gotten to a point where it's no longer doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, even though it's continuing treatment, my pain was getting worse. So it's an indication that the cancer is spreading faster than the chemo can kill it. So um, we decided to stop chemotherapy just because chemo makes me feel so cruddy. Uh, we want to be able to enjoy every single day to its fullest. And when you feel, you know, so ill, you can't get out of bed, it's kind of hard to do that. I'm not scared of death. You know, you, you can say, being a Christian, that you shouldn't be scared of death because you know that you're going to a better place, but it's human nature. I want to be scared. And I think it's strange that I'm not scared. I, I don't it's strange, I know why I don't feel scared. I know it's because God has given me this peace and this blessing that everyone's dying. Mm -hmm. um, this morning there's people who get up and go to work and they're not going to come home tonight. Um, and their families had no idea that was going to happen. They didn't get a chance to plan for it. They didn't get a chance to, you know, set aside videos. They didn't get a chance to do birthday cards. Um, their, their lives end and they move on to, to hopefully heaven and um, their families' lives continue. So I live every day with the appreciation for today and not concerned with what tomorrow will bring. We could have a meter hit the, hit the world and everyone would die and my cancer would be pointless because it wouldn't have been what what would took me out. And I was so concerned and focused on that. And then that happens and that would just, to me that's a waste. Um, I feel blessed because I am living every person's dream. I get to spend every day with the people that I love and I get to do 
anything and everything that I want to do. I get to, you know, if Lisa and I want to take our little baby Austin to the aquarium, we can go to the aquarium. The Lord has blessed us with um, the means and the ability to be able to do that. The relationship that's developed, the amount that I've gotten to know God, I I just wish everyone could get to experience what I feel. I just feel so blessed to be able to, um, you know, be up in the middle of the night in pain and be able to talk to God and be inspired to, you know, try and help people. And I just feel lucky that even though I'm experiencing this pain, that I'm given the opportunity to change lives. You know, in 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 the Lord's name, I'm getting the opportunity to help people. Just for me, I hope that they will give it a thought one day in church. You know, something, one step in the direction, whether it's googling just a Bible passage, reading a chunk of something. You know, seeing if there's anything that appeals to you in any way, shape, or form. Mom, do you want to say how much you love Austin? She your little angel. You're my sweet, sweet girl, Austin. I love you so much. See you again soon. She is my little bundle of joy, and I love her so much. And this is another reason why we're doing this video, is because I want her to know that her daddy loved the Lord, and that her daddy wants to help people so that she will have the same heart. Um, you know, I'm just talking to God about how I know that even if I'm not here, that he's her father and he's going to take care of her. He's going to protect her. He's going to watch out for her. He's going to provide for her. I would love to be part of raising her every single year of her life, but any every day the Lord gives me with her is just <clears throat> the biggest blessing, being a bigger blessing than I, I deserve. Words can't describe how it feels to have her as my daughter and to be blessed with her. Um, so I do worry, but that's just because I'm human. Um, I know that Austin is going to be taken care of, and I know that the Lord has Mouse. big plans for her. I know that she's going to accomplish some pretty impressive things in her life. Smiles? You got a proud daddy, Austin, already, so you're doing good. que eu fui inventar de fazer esse desafio? <risos> Ainda bem que meu celular parou de gravar porque eu comecei a lembrar de umas coisas aqui E fiquei parecendo um bebê aqui, então ainda bem que meu celular parou de gravar Cara, é foda, né, velho? A vida é muito... Frágil, né? Uma doençazinha pode... Doençazinha não, né? Sei que câncer é foda, mas... Uma doença pode acabar com sua vida. Em um pouco tempo. O ser humano é, é... É frágil demais. Bom, meu celular que parou de gravar novamente, galera. Eu queria falar mais coisa aqui no final do vídeo, mas... É, tá, acabou a memória do meu celular, então eu peço desculpa por estar tá finalizando o vídeo preto de novo Com a tela preta aí Perdoa eu, de verdade, meu celular não tem muita memória E ele já tinha parado de gravar antes Ainda bem que parou numa hora que eu tava aparecendo um bebê aqui Mas então é isso, então Desafio cumprido, eu não chorei no vídeo, eu chorei no final quando acabou o vídeo Então o desafio tá cumprido é, Espero que vocês tenham gostado Deixem nos comentários se vocês querem que eu faça mais e deixei também link de vídeo pra mim fazer o desafio Porque eu fiz que esse daqui é aleatório pelo título dele, né? Me chamou a atenção porque... Por alguns fatores que eu já falei em vídeo Que eu não vou ficar falando de novo Mas que me fez lembrar de umas coisas Então eu resolvi fazer com ele pra ver se... Se eu aguentaria eu aguentei no vídeo, né? Depois que eu chorei, ainda bem que, né? Não estava gravando Ainda bem Bom... É isso então, espero que vocês tenham gostado, deixa o seu like, se inscreve caso se não for inscrito, não esquece de seguir as redes sociais, tá tudo na descrição. É... E eu espero que no próximo vídeo eu consiga terminar o vídeo com... gravando a tela também, a câmera né, porque tá foda. <risos> Tchau.